Today we are going to use a completely different method than the previous one. We will be able to recover our device since it had a screen lock. We formatted it and now we have it. We were left with the same block and also with the Google account. With the forgotten Gmail account. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a different process. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to give you what you need, sir. We ran our device so that you too can see that R. The phone still has a screen lock too, and finally, it appears. With the Google account, with the Gmail account in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we've listed other completely different methods. Other additional methods are available for those who also want to try other methods. We'll be sharing all the methods, both PC-based and non-PC-based, in those videos. Tutorials in that description. We're going to go to our Wi-Fi network and connect to that network. Let's go next. We'll click here on skip. We're connected. And now what we're going to do is give him all that. This tour will allow you to see and appreciate that our device is completely blocked with that same block and finally also with the account from Google with the account. If you've forgotten your Gmail account, let's wait a few seconds until we get to that point. We also want to recommend to those people who are always attentive to our video, who are always watching our video tutorials. We hope you can support us by subscribing to our YouTube community because it would help us grow a little more. Also, share our content if it works for you. That's right, we would appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel, by activating the notification bell, by giving it a like and leaving a good comment. And don't forget to share our video tutorials. We upload tutorial videos every other day for you. They can also stay updated and recover everything so they can recover their devices easily and quickly. Everything we put together here on this channel is. We don't set up paid services, but everything is accessible so that you too will have the opportunity to recover your device. Also, another thing I want to mention is that YouTube enabled us. The member community session where you will be able to see Exclusively our video tutorials, available much earlier. Before they're published on YouTube, we're going to click here where it says not to copy and then then here would take us to the section where we our account appears. Our screen lock here, what is using my Google account? For those who know their Google account, well, they can. Enter it here and you will stop watching the entire video tutorial, otherwise. To add their account, they click next and then add what? That's the password. When you add that password, it would grant access. Your device. Also, if you don't know the email address, it gives you. Opportunity to add what is. A, a phone number. You add it, you receive a verification code. Click next so you can configure your device and it would take you directly to the home screen. The phone number must be added to a device that, not that it's blocked so that you receive that recovery message. That said, in this video tutorial we are going to use a PC. We're going to use a PC where we're going to use a fully updated tool. We're going to explain where you'll be able to download that from. Tool and what they have to do P. In order to install the drivers correctly. We'll explain how to tell if we installed the drivers correctly. In this video tutorial we're going to explain everything step by step. We always recommend that you do so before. To run the tool we're going to use in this video. It is recommended to deactivate it. Disable the antivirus so that when we Let's run the tool that will block our antivirus The tool blocks us Having said all that, let's get down to business Our PC and we're going to apply the recovery process 
Okay. Let's go here to our PC. Let's find our antivirus software. Let's run our antivirus. We're going to double click here. What we're going to do is deactivate it. We click here where it says virus and threat protection and then we go. Go down here, in the last of these options, blue letters, we will find. Manage settings and this option that appears here first. The real-time protection setting must be disabled. It must be completely disabled. Deactivated. Once it is completely deactivated, let's go to Google. Here in Google, we're going to type the following. We're going to write it exactly as it appears here on the screen. David cell just as it appears. We're going to write Davicel. We're going to spell it out for you. D E I V I C E L. And then this page will appear. This official page, which you can find under Davicel or Android DTV, is the same. Don't worry. You'll find these options here. And what you're going to do now. What you're going to do now is go down to the last options. We're going back in here. You'll come out. You're going to scroll down to the last options. Here you go. To be able to find this entry that says apps of Excel applications from Ipsil. Here you will also find many tools. You're going to click it. Then it will take you to this section where you'll also be able to find many methods. Now what you're going to do is go down. You're going to go down here. You'll be able to find the tool we're going to use today in this video tutorial. This would be the tool we would be using. We'll also leave you the drivers. Uh, also, before this, well, when we extract, we have to extract this tool. This tool has a password. The password is right here. You'll be able to find it right here and you'll. You're going to install it. It will ask you for it before you remove it. Having said all that, what we're going to do is run the program. This is what the program would look like if you had extracted it. You're going to click here where it says, run as administrator, and here you're going to tell it that. Yes, you tell him yes. You're going to click here on next, next, next. Then, when it's finished, it will create a shortcut for you. This shortcut will create this shortcut for you. Live and what we're going to do is end it. Let's click here to finish. It would be running here. Our program would be running. If you set it to open automatically, it will open. In some cases, it often happens that the antivirus blocks our program. If it returns, if it blocks it, we deactivate it. We run the antivirus and then run the program again. Because that often happens, having said all that. So what we're going to select is here where the little arrow is. There are many processors here if you don't look around. Their model, let's find our model here. Here are all the models that are available. You will be able to find the available options directly from here. You'll see that all these models will follow the same process for these devices. Here we can find it. Here it is. You can see it here. You will find everything. Having said all that, we then select the model. Before starting the process, what are you going to do? Here they will install the drivers for this side. On the right side, all the drivers will appear here. Install it, and I recommend you download this latest driver. You're going to click continue, next, and install it. After I install it, we click on finish and it will open here. How do we know that we already have our processor, our driver, installed? We're going to click here on remover. We click next here and all the installed drivers will appear. If you see that the media day is here, or the one with the Unisoft, everyone there. They'll be here. If they're there, it's because they're okay. If they don't appear, they'll be here. So what you're going to do is the following. You're going to go back, you. 
the first option to install, and when you connect your phone, it will recognize you. Here you'll select it and click on Quick Install Driver. It's that easy and quick. Being here, we then select our model. Let's select our model then it doesn't matter if yours is the one. X1, LX2, LX3 is the same process for these, having said all that. So let's click here and I'll select Huawei here. I select Huawei. I click here on service. Now what we're going to do is turn off our phone. Let's turn off our phone. Let's wait here for 3 seconds. Okay, that's it, we'll turn it off. Once it has completely turned off, we will wait 10 seconds. In those 10 seconds we're going to connect the USB cable. Now what we're going to do is reset FRP here. Here it tells us to insert the device while it is turned off. We're going to insert it while it's turned off, we're not going to press anything. For those who don't have the drivers installed, stay tuned here. As soon as it appears here, select it and click install. Let's connect it. Let's wait for it to recognize it. That recognizes the device. Here you can see it's already doing the process. For those drivers that appear here, click here and then click install. Okay. If it shows up here as it says here, successful reception. It's because the video tutorial has been successful. So what we need to do is unplug it. We're going to unplug it and wait for our phone to start up. Once it's started, we are going to complete the recovery process. Let's wait for it to start. Let's scroll down here, now then. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't get stuck. Miss no detail and you can resolve this account deletion from this device. Let's wait, we're almost ready to start. When we always recover ours. Phones with tools. Our phone always ends up with errors. How do we correct these errors? I'll explain how to correct those errors at the end of the video. We're going to fix it in an easy and quick way. I'll explain what you need to do to solve this. The error we're left with is that sometimes our device gets slow. It's getting very slow, so you have to do this to fix it. We're going to configure it, we'll click next here. We click next, we click skip, we're going to disable the Wi-Fi network. Let's see if it gives us the option to have no SIM card entered. We deactivate the network. We click Next. We'll wait here. The services will take us. On Google, we click on More, 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 Accept. We click Next. We click Skip. We say No Thanks. Continue here. We click on Finish which leaves us with a device showing an error. What we need to do is leave, which is an adjustment. While we're here in settings, let's talk about the phone. And regarding the phone, we'll look for the reset option. There we'll be able to find that option, and we'll go. To reset our phone so that when our phone resets, we would then have a phone completely free of any errors. Once it restarts, we're going to configure it again as we just did.